Now let's uh, talk a little bit about uh, control uh, model or about controlling model specific register or MSR registers, how we can do that uh, in HyperDBG. Uh, if you want to just simply change the uh, some of the uh, MSR registers, uh, there are some commands for it, but uh, first of all, we have to know what are the MSR registers. You probably know about it, but in case you don't know, MSR registers are uh, alternative to control registers, and uh, there are somehow an extension to the control registers, and you can configure the processor, uh, for example, changing the configuration for debugging, program execution, tracing, or computer performance monitoring, for example, changing a hardware debug, uh, uh, hardware performance counters, and toggling some of the certain CPU features you can use uh, MSR register for these purposes. Uh, and there are two commands in HyperDBG, same as WinDBG, uh, that 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 uh, are able to modify MSR registers. For example, if we want to read uh, this specific uh, MSR registers, we could use RDMSR command. Or if we want to uh, read uh, or, or if we want to write on some MSR registers, we could use WSR, uh, uh, WR, uh, MSR command. Now let's try to read the same uh, MSR register here. And HyperDBG shows the MSR register for all of the cores. As you can see, this uh, MSR register, which is, I think relates to system call handling, LSR, or I'm not sure. This uh, uh, MSR register in all the cores are the same, so Windows set all of them to a special location, to a special address. Here, uh, let's see. Uh, this is probably the uh, the handler for the system calls. Let's try to just. Uh, set the sim symbol path. Uh, we try to run the same command again, uh, but this time we should also be able to see the name of the actual function. Yeah, uh, it's for handling system calls and also it starts with a swap.js uh, instruction. So it's uh, for handling uh, system calls. And he here also you can change the va value for uh, MSR registers also if I want to show you uh, you can also uh, specify the core for example if you don't want to modify all of the uh, cores then you can specify the core and, and HyperDBG only modifies uh, this MSR to this address in this specific core and by default it applies to all of the cores but if you specify a special core, then it only applies it to the to that special target core. It is also possible in HyperDBG to uh, monitor uh, which MSRs are try trying to be changed in the windows, or which uh, MSRs uh, are uh, like uh, some some of the uh, drivers or the operating system tries to read from some MSRs. We can monitor them. Uh, we can also uh, change, uh, uh, we can, for example, if we want to uh, disable one feature in the processor by disabling bits in the uh, MSR register, this is really useful. For example, if you want to ignore some of the changes to some special MSRs, uh, you could use HyperDBG's monitor command, uh, basically change the value of the MSR and uh, 
Hyper-D will apply the changed version of the values. For example, you can mask some of the bits from the MSRs. And uh, when, when it applies the real hardware, uh, the bits are uh, still ma uh, masked. Uh, and uh, the way that hyper -DVG tries to intercept these MSRs are uh, based on intercepting all changes on a specific MSR. So if you want to just monitor all of them, it's still possible, but in case you only want to monitor, it, it, uh, if you want to monitor all of them, then definitely it will uh, slow down your computer. But in case if you want to just uh, monitor one specific uh, uh, MSR register, then it uh, won't try to uh want to slow down your system because it only intercept that special uh msr uh because because of the some of the features that that, that are used in hyper dvg for msr bit maps so let's see let's see uh some of the msrs but before before that let's see the wmsr command uh the the uh command that monitors the wr wr msr instruction if there's any change to these MSR registers, uh, then we can monitor it by using uh, MSR write or uh, bang MSR write command. And also, of course, as I mentioned before, we can uh, change the value of EDX, EAX, which will eventually uh, be written to the MSR and we can perform some, some we can com completely ignore the MSR, for example, if you want to just change the, uh, change it and uh, we, will, we want not to apply it, we can use the event uh, short circuit thing for this purpose. But let's see, let's see some of the examples. Uh, I try to also add, previously we used a command for, uh, exceptions let's also add it here uh, I try to uh, see what are what MSR registers are that uh, the MSR register that Windows tries to read them uh, so basically, the MSR index is located at E6 register. Instruction pointer tries to read uh, this MSR. We can also specify the E6. And let's run this MSR. Yeah. We can see that uh, Windows tries to uh, read these MSRs. I speed but let's see what are these MSRs here I try to put them in a comment so basically we have this MSR another one and yeah so uh, I I uh, I uh, downloaded a list of MSRs and their descriptions from a repository. You can try to uh, read them from here. You can search them. These are cop copied from this repository uh, I try to just understand what what is the uh, what is this MSR and as you can see this is uh, for this MSR I32 FS space it tries to change the FS space 
FS register. Um, so yeah, this is the actual uh, MSR register that Windows tries to read from this location, from this RIP address. So basically, if we uh, un unassemble this address, we will see that there is a RDMSR instruction here. But now let's try to clear them all and see what 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 are the MSR registers that are written by Windows. So I try to write uh, change it to MSR write and tries to write here. So um, here are the MSR registers that Windows try to write on them. Uh, let's copy some of them here uh, to check the Documentation again. This is uh, FS space uh, MSR, but if we look at this address, then yeah, this is I thirty two X two AP. This is for end of interrupt MSR. So uh, basically, Windows tries to. Uh, access this MSR register for uh, notifying an, in, an end of intro in this uh, special MSR address. So yeah, and, and if we take a look at one of these addresses, then uh, we show we have to see some WMSR instruction. Yeah, here it is. This is the WRMSR that is responsible for changing this MSR.